Good afternoon, everybody. How about these temperatures? It's warm outside, but with the warmer temperatures comes a chance for rain. Isolated rain showers, they're out there, and by isolated, we just mean a couple spots, and that's exactly what we've got. Up here in northern Park County, we've got an isolated little thunder shower. There's a couple little flashes of lightning underneath that guy, but not going to reach severe limits today. Just isolated rain showers like that. If you've got plans outside, keep them. You really should be just fine. We're going to keep a few waves of spotty rain around basically through the week. Best chance for rain really looks to get here Wednesday and Thursday with leftover showers Friday morning. In the meantime, I mean, it's just it's flat out hot in some areas, especially if you're out there working 75 degrees in Terre Haute, 75 in Paris, 71 in Casey, and it's 73 degrees in Robinson, all doing part to the winds. You heard me last week talking about northerly winds, northerly component. Dave quit talking about northerly winds. It's cold out. Well, here's southerly winds. And you feel the difference, right? I mean, when you get these winds out of the south, it is much warmer out there. So if you've wanted warmer temperatures, and look, we're not the only ones. While Chicago's at 61, that's above average for them. We are at 75. We're the warm spot in the Midwest right now, with the exception of Jefferson City out there in Missouri at 77 degrees. It's 77 in St. Louis right now. They're playing pretty good baseball if you're watching the Reds and Cardinals game. In the meantime, uh, I'll let uh, Rick fill you in on that later tonight. Hopefully it goes in the way of the red birds. In the meantime, we've got some rain showers again just popping up. Very isolated. Couple little spots outside. That's it. Otherwise, it's just cloudy out there. And with future casts, watch this. Very important that we keep an eye on this because the spotty rain really looks to be focused to the north of us with the most organized rain and thunderstorms to the northwest of us as we stay mild. Upper 50s. That's tomorrow morning. Your morning low warmer than any day we produced last week with a low of 57 tonight. 70s again tomorrow back in the mid 70s. But look, this is at five o'clock. There's not a lot of greens and yellows. So as far as rain in the forecast tomorrow, it's even less of a chance than today. More isolated than today as we keep some clouds around. But it's going to be windy. It's going to be warm and that's setting the stage for this big blue line to be moving in. Take a look at this image here as we get late into the day on Tuesday early into the morning hours of Wednesday. Well, we've got a couple spotty rain showers around now at that point, I should say. It's Wednesday during the day when the activity really fires up out west, but it's late. It's very late in the day. We're in the lower 70s ahead of that. That cold front doesn't look to pass through here until after midnight, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Good news with that is it takes the severe limit down. The bad news with that is we need any rain that we generate. So let's hope it stays together for the sheer fact that we just get some rain out of that system because we're pretty dry. We could use some more rain. 57 tonight. Couple isolated thunder showers, not out of the question. Spotty rain and 74. If you've got outside plans tomorrow, keep them. You're going to get your work done out there for sure. It's tomorrow night when we start to see an increase in this with the best chance for rain moving in Wednesday, Wednesday night, into Thursday. And look at the temperature drop. It's not cold, it's just going to be cooler outside. Average high is 61. We'll be below that on Friday. So if I got to call any of these days this week cold, it is going to be Friday there, the weekend behind it, jumping to 55 Saturday, 65 on Sunday.